Hello all, hope you're well. It's Jack here from MCS and welcome back to another episode of the FinTech Diaries. Um, if you're joining for the first time, also welcome. Um, very quick introduction. I'm one of the recruitment consultants here at MCS. Uh, we like to do things a little bit differently. Um, so over the last number of weeks and months, I've been sitting down with various senior leaders of FinTech organizations and discussing a variety of different trending topics, uh, understanding a little bit more about their business uh, and background, uh, and also talking about the plans for the future and of course technology. And um, today I had the pleasure of sitting down with Evelina Overshoot, uh, and she is the Managing Director and Global Head of Managed Services at Portfolio BI. We are a fintech company that specializes in providing comprehensive front-to-back solutions for the financial, financial services industry. I'm going to allow her to tell you a little bit more about who they are and what they do more specifically and more granularly coming up next. Good afternoon, Evelina. Thanks very much for joining me. Hi, Jack. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, all good. So I suppose just to sort of get into sort of question one um, before we go on and, and hear more about you know, the company and stuff that you represent, do you mind telling us a little bit more about you and you know, your journey into tech? Of course. Um, well, so Evelina Objot, um, I'm the I'm global head of uh, managed services um, and managing director in Portfolio BI. Um, and my journey to tech, gosh, where do I start? Um, I <laughs> kind of always really had um, had a passion for, for tech. And um, although that actually started at home, um, my, my whole family were very tech savvy and were always using technology to help our day-to-day -day tasks. And whether it was in the kitchen, then it was the school, it was, <laughs> it was, always, it was always present at home. Um, uh, and I, I, I went to university and I studied economics, actually, and I got a master's okay. degree in um, international business relations. However, my master essay was based on a, uh, on a company that, um, that released um, computers in, in Poland for the first time. Okay. Um, so I've already, I already looked at, um, at, this, at this company as something that's changing the world, that is bringing a new, new technology innovation. Um, so for me, technology, it's, um, it's, not, it's not just the hardware and software. It's actually the ways of working. It's, it's, the, it's the innovations. It's looking into governance and, and setting up the, the, the processes and adjusting it and continuously adjust, continually adjusting because technology changes every, every day. Um, so I started actually my career in, in IT as an IT product manager working for a small company um, doing moves and changes for, for clients and looking at their, at their, at their telephony systems. Um, throughout that first that first gig that I had, I noticed um, that actually um, we can um, implement technology, but um, if we don't adjust the way how people work, if we don't run a business change alongside, um, we will just lose money. We will just waste mm -hmm. money. Um, so I very quickly started thinking about a technology in a transformational way. Um, and um, and build all my projects and all my programs with that transformation and that business change in, in mind. Um, so very quickly, I built my career um, establishing a project management offices, portfolio offices, and a big transformational programs of work that were looking at, um, at digital innovations, um, but um, looking at the overall target operating model, adjusting the way, the way how, how people are working, and still having that um, technology at the back end, but having the user-centered design. So actually user and our client in, in, in the center. Mm -hmm. um, and only this way, we can really use technology in, 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 the right, in, the right, in the right way. Um, so um, that's, that's kind of my, my, love, my love for technology. Um, although I did have a very short gig in an oil and gas um, company, because I implemented the different transformational programs, number of different um, uh, industries from transformation, from um, uh, sorry, um, uh, uh, transportation to um, consult engineering mm. consultancy, um, and ending up in a in, in a financial services now. Um, okay. But um, but uh, in oil and oil and gas company, it was it was a I was part of a bid team, and it was responsible for IT, and I had to scope up the entire project. Um, uh, for a for a raffinery in the middle of, of nowhere in the middle of the desert. Okay. So in here you're actually thinking not only infrastructure, not only how to get the connectivity, but actually people's life because they're going into that desert yeah. working away from their families for like six to nine nine weeks at, at a time. So you have to give them all the provisions. They have to of live like, like 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 normal. So you're building building 
effectively you build in a city. Um, so that was extremely rewarding. Um, and that showed me the different side of uh, side of technology when actually this hardware and software, that's what's also really, really important. And that, that connectivity. So you're looking at the infrastructure and application. Um, so all those different gigs and, and different experiences um, in different industries um, helped me in what I am what I'm doing now. Um, so I, um, I I work for um, for a company that provides IT services and um, and and software and products to alternative investments. And um, as you can the alternative investments are very fast paced um they're not very forgiving um they are um well they are quite um quite demanding at times they require white glove treatments but they do not waste time. So the way how you run the business for them, how you run the, the services for them and how you deliver the projects, it's with that client focus, looking at their, at their processes, looking at what's important for them, looking at the security compliance, and just looking at all the aspects of their business to make sure that what you provide them from both the computer, the, how the computer is set up, how the web application is running and how those applications are set, are very much focused into in in how how that how how the hedge funds how the alternative investment is 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 running. Um, so I'm glad uh, to say that um, the my efforts and commitments um, they were recognised um, by. Um, by a uh, a company called Two and Twenty, um, I became at uh, one of the uh, name was named one of the top one hundred um, uh, top most in top top one hundred most influential um, people in service provision for alternative investment. Oh, okay. um, and there was the, there was the first first time that I was was actually nominated for 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 such a for such a prestigious um, um, in such a prestigious way and um, and 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 got and got named as one of those one hundred. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Thanks very much for that for that overview. Um, I suppose in terms of then portfolio BI, I know you touched on it a little bit there, but could you walk us through maybe then like the core sort of business model and maybe what sets you apart from, from other people in the market? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so Portfolio BI, um, it's a global organization. We've got um, three global offices, three offices in um, New York, London and Belgrade. Um, it's over 100 employees um, and around just over 175 clients. Okay. Um, we are a small but mighty team of um, financial and technology veterans. Um, so we've got an expertise um, from the um, from the from the financial aspects, but a quite a quite a quite a um, quite a big experience in in, in technology. Um, we are all about data. So we look at the data workflows, um, data analytics, data governance, um, and and data security. Um, we are based on public cloud, um, so all our offerings and services are just public cloud focused. Um, and our services are de designed with security um, in, in mind. Um, we like to, we actually have been named once that we are set up like a, like a fund that doesn't okay. trade um, okay. because we face loads of challenges and, and workflows that all the alternative team, um, alternative investment firm um, are facing. Um, and with the deep understanding um, of it, it allows us to uniquely design not only our products um, and services to support ourselves, but also to support to support our clients. Um, so we use quite a lot of um, that the, the knowledge that we have um, in and, and apply it in an innovative way to, to our clients. Excellent. That's a great run through as well. Um, and when it comes to then, you know, technologies and things like that that are instilled uh, within Portfolio BI, um, what does that look like? Um, and could you maybe tell us then what are some examples of maybe some of the projects that you guys would be working on within the business? Sure. Um, so we've got we've got three um, three offerings. Um, okay. We recently had actually an, an internal internal competition on giving them names. Um, okay. So, well. um, so we've got a Axiom. Uh, vector and Stratus. Um, Axiom is um, everything around your investment book of records. So it's looking at your know, OMS, PMS, um, and um, security and reference master. Um, vector, it looks at our enterprise data management platform, um, price master, um, security and reference master. And Stratus, it's our managed service, managed security service uh, provisioning. Um, which um, includes 
all our IT services, 24-7 support, um, cybersecurity, data management. Um, so as I mentioned previously, we are the public cloud first. Um, we hugely invest in Microsoft stack. Uh, we do have instances with AWS as well. So okay. we try to at times be cloud, be cloud agnostic, however, internally, and we invest in, in Microsoft. Um, and when it comes to the way how we positioned ourselves to the clients and the services and technologies that we, that we provide is going back to what I said, the technology is not just the infrastructure and the software, it's actually the way how you work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we are, we focus on a few aspects. We focus on workflow. So we're looking at all the workflows that the companies are running, that, uh, that hedge funds are, are running, which is order workflow, compliance, um, allocation engine, um, your portfolio management tool, everything that front office um, it's, it's focused on. Um, we, we aim to solve um, the data problems, the complex data problems for, for, the, for the managers and um, specifically around the, um, uh, the credit asset class. Uh, we looked at analytics um, and within the analytics, we're looking at the single source of truth. So our, our, we bring loads of different data sources into one data warehouse, um, and then do the, all the transformation analysis um, through, through those different uh, uh, workflows and create a, a, a reporting at, at the end. Um, so we're driving that anal analytics and, and reporting requirements um, of, of the hedge funds um, through this one, one single platform. Um, we're looking at the governance. So every company needs to have the 24-7 support. They need to have somebody to ma to manage them, the, 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 their IT and infrastructure, mm -hmm. who runs it in the, in, the, in the right way and has a full understanding of how clients is working and what is important for them to effectively support it. Um, and to help us do that, we reduce our uh, manual efforts and really focus on automation. We are very much code driven when it comes to implementation. However, when it comes to our, our products, it's a very much low code and and quite uh, quite um, uh, configurable by, by by the clients and the last one is the security so um we know that all the clients they need to be secure and with ever ever changing cyber cyber threats um like recently recent example <laughs> <laughs> Um, we, um, yeah, we focus on, on make sure that everything that we do, it's, um, it's secure and we've got all the necessary monitoring in place, um, or early detection, um, in place to, to help us react to, to certain, certain threats, uh, threats quickly and help our clients, um, uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a proactive, proactive manner. Um, so. In terms of the projects, um, we actually run quite, quite a few projects and, um, for con because of the confidentiality, I can name can name course, the, 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 the clients, but I give you a brief overview of two projects. Um, first one, it's um, it's really a designing a data science and a research platform for for okay. Conch, um, and that includes um, that includes the use of all the Azure uh, Azure resources. Um, we're looking at um, at Azure function uh, functions and data factory for ingestion of the data. Okay. We're using we're looking at Databricks for cleansing, transformation, um, and potentially machine learning. Um, data Lake for storage, um, Azure Synapse um, for for service layer, um, and um, uh, and yeah, and at the, at the end that that analytics and and reporting. Um, so it's quite a complex project. Um, we involve we involve the strength of all the teams, um, mm -hmm. which knowledge of the of the of the business, um, knowledge of the of the of the data warehousing, and and actually spinning something for 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 a, for a client, which is very very much custom. Um, uh, so we are we actually what where what we differentiate is we just do not come in shoehorn a, a product and mm. we actually work with the client and 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 validate validate their needs and the requirements to to okay. choose the, the right one. Um, and um, uh, and have that that financial knowledge and have the technology knowledge and marry mar 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 the two the two together. Um, and the second project that we are running is is a pure migration project. So we're working with okay. a client who has entire IT infrastructure and applications all on premise, um, and we are doing the full cloud readiness assessment and designing the way uh, to to migrate them into the public cloud. Um, uh, so in, it to be to be done in a, a seamless way. Um, uh, with least disruption, um, least rework, um, and um, uh, and really positioning them for the future. So ensuring that the solution yeah. is fully fully scalable. Um, but again, it's um, uh, we would be we are at the moment in a design and build phase, um, and um, and the migration it's 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 it will it will it will come um, it will come yeah. later. Excellent. 
Okay. Sounds like you guys are doing a lot of stuff. So the next question is actually going to be about what's the company's future goals? Mm-hmm. Um, and I suppose uh, another one was around sort of, you know, have you had to have face any sort of obstacles uh, along the way as well in regards to everything you're, you've been trying to achieve? Yeah. Um, yes. So um, our company, we recently went through a change of a leadership. We had a, we had a change okay. of CEO. So under the new leadership team, we're trying to rebrand. So we're looking from okay. the business perspective. We're looking at branding ourselves. It's all about data. So we don't want mm-hmm. to be as a product, it's a service, right? We actually want to bring the two together, integrate the, the products the products and services and say, we are actually caring for you as a client and mm-hmm. your data. And we are looking for it from all those perspectives that I mentioned before, which is workflow analytics, um, security, etc. Um, we um, we're looking to grow our client base um, and looking into go into looking into our strategy into market based on that on that rebranding, positioning ourselves um, as a as a differentiator and not just okay. as a minor service product uh, provider, but um, or a, or a, or a product provider, but that integrated data management um, pr- provider. Um, we are um, very much focusing on, on security. This is such a hot topic. Um, uh, so we are creating a new se- security service offering. Um, that's why we are um, we kind of changed from MSP to MSSP that actually has, okay. that has the security um, in in the middle. Um, and we're looking at um, implementing automated pen tests um, that okay. would help clients stay continually on top um, with, with the with the compliance um, and making sure that they're secure. So help that proactiveness. We're looking at advanced monitoring um, and that advanced monitoring, it won't be just the standard security monitoring, but actually it will leverage tools like Sentinel um, or actually look at clients, different workflows within their applications as well to streamline the way how, um, mm-hmm. how, 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 they, how they run and early detect the, the, the issues. Um, within our internal products, we always look at how we can innovate them, what we could add to it. We listen to feedback from our clients and um, add uh, different products, different modules. Um, so at the moment, the big focus is on uh, data acquisition and reporting. Um, so it's bringing more so more data sources. And as we know, the data companies, it, they like to change the way how they present the data, how they categorize the data. So we want our platform, our especially our AD, to be ready for, for, for those changes and um, and welcome them and 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 don't so we, so we don't spend too much time on refactoring um, mm-hmm. our, our settings or our code in order to to welcome that um, or to ingest that, that additional data um, another uh, in addition to the to the branding um, security um, offering we are very much looking into AI we don't want to we want to stay on a forefront of where is it going um and um and actually that's where i see the biggest obstacles um because okay. financial services are uh, quite hesitant um to the ai um and that's it's very much um uh, it's it, it's common it's a common um common thing that people are worried um mm-hmm. uh, that ai will replace it ai ha- does that's hallucinations. So can we trust it? How do we validate it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, do we actually, will it actually make us more efficient rather than actually we need to spend more time on checking everything that we, that we get from it? So what we are doing is we're looking at um, loads of different internal use cases um, or okay. actually find a couple of internal use cases that we can deploy an AI tool um, that will help us as a company be more efficient and present it to the clients and then work with the client or a use case that will that will help them become more efficient or maybe serve, save some time in their repetitive admin mm-hmm. ad, admin admin items or maybe some some researches even um so um that's what we will be will be focusing and um, we'll be doing that in a way how um how we've been working today to build in the trust um, yes. um with with the clients continue with that partnership and showing that we are doing that ourselves as well so we are that hedge fund that doesn't trade um and um and and therefore just become our partner and can come with us on that journey fantastic i'm excited to see uh, how that pans out as well sounds exciting I will you um, later. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um final question from me Look, you've obviously been there for, for quite some time you've seen a lot of changes you're going to oversee even more changes in the future but um if, if i was to ask you like, what tips or advice could you give to other you know smaller companies or startups in the space what, what would that look like mm-hmm. um so one of the one of the advices i would say um it's a startup um, is not a smaller version of the big firm. 
of a big organization. Don't try to set it up um, with all the processes, all the organizational structure, just like a big company. Um, try to be definitely be lean, definitely be agile, um, welcome changes, listen to the feedback, um, go out and present of um, what it is that you're trying to achieve. Um, be revolutionary with your thinking, but be evolutionary with your approaches, your execution. Um, give yourself time and, um, and actually allow yourself to fail, but pick it up, pick up quickly and um, learn, from, learn from the mistakes and, and, and apply those changes. Um, so, so then you can very quickly adjust your business plans and, um, and look credible um, to, to, to your clients and to, and to the business. Um, for the smaller businesses, I would say um, don't be a vendor, be a partner. Um, don't position yourself as, um, as a provider, a service provider, but um, try to find that, that partnership and the, and the trust with, 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 with your clients, because that will strengthen definitely the relationship. And, and there will be, as in every IT, IT uh, company, um, there will be frustrations and the service will never be 100%. Today, your clients might love you because you've done something amazing for them because you prevented something. But tomorrow, a computer might not work, so everything might fail. Um, welcome those, those, those changes and, um, and, and listen, to, listen to you, listen to your clients, listen to the feedback and always, um, and always um, improve, improve and adjust and have that partnership um, way forward. Excellent. That's great advice. Um, okay, look, that, that, that's all for me. I just want to say, look, thank you very much for, for taking the time today to, to join me. Um, and as always, I'll, I'll make sure to tag you uh, and the company in, in the post so that people can um, reach out yeah. if they have any more questions or want to understand a little bit more about the business, etc. Thank you very much, Evelina. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure to meeting you, Jack. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.